Hello students, welcome back. Let's take up the next question. So the next question is list the factors on which the resistance of a uniform cylindrical conductor of a given material depends. Second is the resistance of a wire of 0.01 centimeter radius is 10 ohm. If the resistivity of the wire is 50 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter, find the length of this wire. Okay. So first we'll solve this part. So let this be a cylindrical conductor and let this be the area of cross section and this be the length of the conductor. Now we know that the resistance of a conductor varies directly as the length of this conductor. That means R will be directly proportional to L. That is if length increases, the resistance will increase. If the length decreases, the resistance will decrease. Second, R varies inversely as the area of cross section. Cross section. That is R varies inversely as A. That is if area of cross section increases, the resistance will decrease. And if the area of cross section decreases, resistance will increase. And R depends on nature of material depends on nature of material nature of material so if we combine these two we get r varies directly as l by a or r is equal to rho l by a where rho is the constant of proportionality which is known as the resistivity of the material of the material and it depends on the nature of material it depends on the nature of material okay so this is our answer to the first question first bit that is r is equal to rho l by a so resistance depends on length of the conductor area of cross section of the conductor and resistivity or nature of material of the conductor. Okay. Next, come to the second part. So, here we are given the radius of the conductor. So, radius R is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter, which is 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Okay. Then, the resistivity resistivity rho is equal to what's the value of rho 50 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter then we have the resistance resistance r which is 10 ohm so we'll use the formula R is equal to rho L by A or L will be R into A by rho which is R into area instead of area we will write pi R square by rho. So if we put these values we get R is 10 and uh, pi is 3.14 into radius is 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 2 and radius square we are having so we'll write it again 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 50 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay so here we get 50 10 0, 0 cancel so it will be 3.14 into so this is 0 0.01. So if you remove the decimal, it will be 1 by 100. So 1 by 100 is 10 to the power minus 2. So we write that 10 to the power minus 2. And then this one, 10 to the power minus 2. Again for this part, 10 to the power minus 2. And finally, 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 5 into 10 to the power minus 8. So here we have 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 8 
by 5 into 10 to the power minus 8. So this minus 8 minus 8 gets cancelled. So here we have 3.14 into sorry 3.14 divided by 5. That will be 0 0.628 meter. So this is your answer. That is the length of the given conductor is 0 0.628 meter. I hope you have understood this. Thanks for watching.